In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple visual and it's basically a bar chart that's actually inside a cell. So make sure you watch all the way to end because I'll show you how to use the conditional formatting tool to create this dynamic visual in only a couple of steps. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get right into it. So over here is just a simple table on the months and the profits. And the first thing you have to do is select all the numbers and then go to the conditional formatting tool. What conditional formatting will do is take in all the numerical values and automatically create data bars based on what the values are. Then you have to click on data bars and it's gonna show you a bunch of different styles and you can play around with which color you think is the best. But for this video, I'm just gonna go with the solid green data bar. And once you do that, you can see the data bars are over each of the numbers and the cells where there's a green bar, that represents the month where you made a profit, but the ones where there's a red bar represents the months where you lost money. But I want to do one more thing. If you look at where the data bars are, I don't like how the bars are overlapping with the numbers. So I'm going to move all these bars to the next column over here. So first, you got to select all the cells with the bars in it. Go to conditional formatting again, and then this time go to clear rules and then click on clear rules from selected cells. Then go to the cell next to a number and say equals B2 which is going to refer to this cell over here and if you click enter then it's going to spit out the same number but I'm just going to hover over the bottom right hand corner of that cell and double click on it that's going to automatically fill out all the rest of the numbers once you do that you have to highlight all the numbers again go to conditional formatting and then click on the same style which is the solid green color and this is going to show the bars over the numbers again but this time we're going to highlight the numbers and then go to conditional formatting tool, go to manage rules, and then it's going to open a new window. And from here you click on edit rule and then it's going to show you another window where you can change the color. But in this video, I'm just going to stick with the default ones and I'm just going to go to the option that says show bar only and I'm going to select on that. And now if you click on OK and you click on OK again, then it only shows the bars and not the numbers. The cool thing about this is that the data bars are dynamic, meaning that if we change any of the numbers in the data, then the data bars are automatically gonna adjust themselves. So let me show you what that looks like. If I change this number over here to 100, then you can see that the green bar goes up. But if I change the profit to a negative number, then it's automatically gonna turn into a red bar. So that's pretty cool. Okay, that's all I got for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you want to see me make more visuals in Excel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Stay up to date with my content. And if you're watching this part of the video, then you might like this video over here, which is going to show you how to display descriptive statistics on any column in only a couple of steps. So hopefully I see you there and thanks for watching.